unlike the dual Keras that's gone from mastery rank 7 to mastery rank 14, this has gone from mastery rank 7 to mastery rank 12. But it's where the damage is going that is kind of slightly more important for this because the crit chance has gone from 24% to 28%, the status has gone from 10% to 20%, and the total damage has gone up ever, ever so slightly. I'm seeing that because it's basically gone from 36 on some to 46, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's 46 on everything. Whereas on the standard one, it kind of isn't. Because as you can see, the fire damage is 40, whereas with the Hystrix, if we go to fire, it's 46. And it's 46 here, and it's 46 for electric. Because what this weapon will do is allow you to use ice damage, electrical damage, fire damage, or poison damage. You can choose one, not both. So Modding this thing is an absolute nightmare. That's why you don't see it kicking around that much because obviously you have to choose which fire mode you're in because it has four fire modes. And then the mods you have equipped in it determine what elemental damage you're actually doing. And all of the stats are pretty much exactly the same for everything. Which as already shown, the normal Hystrix isn't. The fire one is kind of the mode to put it in because with a fire mode, it does 40 damage, whereas the rest of them all did 36. This just does 46 on everything. But again, in the hands of Korra Prime, this thing has a chance to instantly reload on headshots, making it, hopefully, really, really good. And the fact that there is only three parts, the Meso H3 holding the receiver, the Neo G4 holding the, there it is, barrel as the common, and the Axie K9, as you could probably imagine, is the uncommon part, which would just be the normal blueprint. And as much as I would really, especially seeing as it's now the 3rd of August, and this thing came out on the 16th of July, yeah, I would love to say I've waited this long because I, I hate this thing, and it's absolutely horrible, and no such thing exists. The only reason it's been so long is because, to be honest, I've just been enjoying it way too much. This is one of those weapons, though, that you kind of have to remember. It, when you use the ultimate fire, it swaps it from poison to fire to electric or to ice. This makes it great for finding the exact elemental combos and everything to whatever enemy you're going up against. If you are doing a mission, you can find this out very quickly at the beginning of a mission. Just run through all four of them, see which one's doing the most damage, stick with the one that does the most damage and continue just using it like that is the best way that I have found to use this thing. But I don't tend to do that. I tend to mainly do things where you get random missions like, oh, I don't know, Elite Sanctuary Onslaught where you're guaranteed level 70 plus enemies constantly and it changes all the time. So going in with one kind of setup is really horrible and that's where the Hystrix Prime comes in wonderful because you can just cycle through, find out which combination works best and just use that for the rest of that round and then in the next one when you get a different enemy do it again and find out which one's best and stick with that one for the rest of the round and it's really amazing to do that this is basically exactly what the original one should have been i know there's only 10 base damage difference on each of them like four percent crit chance increase and a 10 percent well the status was doubled it's gone from 10 percent like 20 percent and the reloads a tiny little bit quicker it's all it needed. This thing with a decent ribbon in it would be amazing. I am really gutted I don't have one because I am not taking this thing off. It does everything that I like a secondary to do and maintains really high accuracy. Of course, in the hands of Cora Prime, it has a chance to instantly reload after a headshot. Mm. You'll notice through the gameplay, even when I'm using Korra Prime, I don't land a lot of headshots because I've got way too used to using basically the best way I can put it is point and click weaponry where, oh, there's an enemy in that direction somewhere. You just kind of throw the mouse over there, go click, and anything in that general direction goes away. This kind of forces you not to play like that. And 
One day I will probably stop doing this, but it's just... I loved the Hystrix. It just lacked a little bit of damage. This thing, even fully modded, isn't really getting over 600 total damage on anything. Mm, it just does it so, so well. I didn't even mod this thing for status. It's basically just modded for crit, which is why I would love a crit ribbon for this thing. Also, I was massively wrong. It's getting... 1200 damage give or take on everything and it basically just has viral added to every single combination <laughs> yeah that's it and the status has gone up a bit the crit has gone up a bit and this is nowhere near where i would like to see this thing i've just got rid of a bit of weapon recoil with steady hands it's primed pistol gambit prime target cracker hornet strike Galvanized Diffusion, which increases the multi-shot that helps a lot. There's the viral right there. That I would recommend changing depending on what you are doing. It's just on viral because it works as an all-best all-rounder. And then Magnum Force with Orga Pack. Throw more damage on there. If I got a Riven for this, it's probably... Mm. To be fair, depending what it was, Magnum Force I would get rid of. Because yes, you may lose a bit of damage, but if you can increase that crit chance over 150%, yeah, it would be critting almost every single round, which means it's a guaranteed 4.6 times damage anyway, so that wouldn't really matter, but yeah, more than likely I would do what everybody's suggesting here and just dump the Orga pack. But again, this is just kind of still playing with it, and yeah, I dumped five former into this. I'm really just hoping we eventually. A Riven in here would, oh, it's a whole other thing. And I did try to get a hold of one. That's one of the reasons this has been a little bit late because I want one so badly, but I am not taking this thing off for a while. I have, it's just good to have a weapon that has some accuracy to it does lots of damage and isn't just to point it in one direction and kill everything in that direction type weapon that so many of the more powerful weapons in Warframe have become. Well, now we have something way better. I mean, there is a lot of weapons actually better than this, but I prefer this because I just want to run one weapon and keep running that one weapon in case you're wondering what that pause was i could have sworn i just stopped recording for a second there because my finger accidentally hit the button that's what the confusion in my voice was there but i like just equipping a weapon and running everything i do with the same stuff equipped i've done it for nine years i'm not changing anytime soon and i know somebody's going to mention the fact that i've done this makes it kind of cheaty but we just want everybody in kind of the same place so we can go these were all level 100 and... Oh, wait, no, they're not. <laughs> Helps if you put the zero on the end and then click confirm and then... Hmm, should I cut that out? Maybe. Okay, I forgot. Sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, you go do that. I'll shoot at you. On headshots, it will refill the magazine. Insta refill. Oh, plus these are level 190s and they're going down like they're not even there. You're just going to die without me having to do anything. Because I stopped shooting. One mag, gone. Yes, there are weapons that will do more damage than this. I am aware, and I'm pretty sure it was fire that was kind of best to you. No. Electrical? No. Oh, no, that was a 5,000. We should have left it where it was, because these are hitting. That was a 3,000. It's. I don't know. Yo! Okay, let's leave, the, let's leave it on poison, which is its standard firing mode, by the way. Because that just seems to make them go away. Very... Oh, I'm shooting a... You're not here. You are, in fact, already gone. The only thing that would make these things better is if the fact that shooting quills made the enemy fly off into the distance. Which it sadly doesn't do. They just kind of fall over. I would love the ability to pin them to the wall. If it did that, this would be the perfect weapon. I'm not really sure why you flew off. The rest of them didn't really do that. I think it's got something to do with the cat army I seem to have here. And for the record, everybody who keeps mentioning it, nope. Luna is actually running her standard colours here. 
that's a skin, yes, but that is her standard colours. If you've watched me for long enough, there's a reason she is called the Golden Kitty. And that's because that is the standard colour she came in, and once I put that skin on, she turned into the Golden Kitty. No colours installed on her at all. That's just the colour she went to. And with the Venari, oh yeah. But anyway, the Hystrix would have been so much better if it would have pinned enemies to the walls. Then it would have been an absolute perfect weapon. Still good, could have been that little bit better if it just pinned enemies to a wall. That's why we have the dual wielding Balto. We'll just go back to using that. Or the, ooh, is it the twin gremlins that do that? Cannot remember the name of them. But anyway, we've gone on too long about this, so we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.